some of the farmland uh, north of Cedar City and big hay fields. We got a phone call of a eagle on the ground, and so we're trying to find find that. The farmhand is supposed to meet with us, show us where the eagle is. doing good it's uh do you want me to come with you or uh that or j let me know where it is Let's so it it's is. just on the edge you could just follow the edge of this field uh-huh and uh it was kind of over there by that sagebrush and it it like flew a little bit but then it came back down and i had i actually had it mm -hmm. i put i had my carhartt coat on and i Covered it. Covered it, but I saw the talons of that thing. They're like that big, and I went, oh, and I took my coat off. Yeah, that's that's kind of my job. <laughs> yeah, I do. I deal with those things. You, yeah, not, not safe for you guys to do that, but yeah, I do appreciate you Have, trying. Is it past those two trees? Yeah, no, it's 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 straight across the field of the sagebrush. Yeah, I can even, I can go in the dump truck and I can drive. It I can there. hop in back if you want. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. in a couple of days. Yeah, you can just go right onto the field. Yeah. yeah. This is this is why uh, the Subaru dealer gave us skid plates yeah. and put the uh, clear bra protection on the on the car yeah. so we can get, get out in the brush a little bit. Glad he came. We wouldn't have found him. Yeah. Oh, he's caught by the fence there, Martin. Yeah, he's, he just keeps running into the fence. He's not... He's, I, I was getting pretty close. I, yeah. I can kind of cut him off this way. And I'll cut him off this way. Young gold, or young bald. It's young, young bald eagle. Yeah, it's missing a couple of its feathers on its tail. It's I noticed feet. that. Yeah, it's good you noticed the feet. <laughs> it's a young bald eagle? Young mm -hmm. bald. Oh. So they turn a different color. He's got bare legs, huh? Yeah, they, they uh, get the white head and white tail when they're five years old. Oh. So this is just a young bald. So this is probably a good thing that we... Yeah. Like you said, you don't uh, you don't mess with these feet. <laughs> I do, but you don't. Yeah, this I wasn't. I, yeah. Average person doesn't know how to. To handle. Yeah. Do you want me to get that? No, I'll just get, the get the wing out. The wing's caught up. Yeah, okay, sweetie, let's get your tail unlocked in here. It's amazing. Yeah. Do we get golden eagles in this? Place? We do. Oh, yeah. yeah. In fact, uh, right around here, I've got several nesting pairs of golden eagles. Okay. Here, so we got pond. So, do they lay eggs out here? The bald, the gold eagle, or the the golden eagles are our year-round bird. The bald, bald eagles, eagles are primarily come for the down for the winter. Okay. Hi, baby. Holy smokes! <laughs> How you doing? Does he have a full crop? How you doing, huh? They oh. won't. They don't peck at you. Or oh, anything? they do. He'll oh, bite they're your face biters. off. Yeah, your tail's messed up. Yeah, they'll bite your face off, won't they? But uh, I know how to handle them. Like oh I yeah, said. well you're holding it like a little baby. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. But you got to watch out for that beak too. Yeah, there yeah. is. Come on. It does have a crop full of food. What's so that? That's a good sign. This oh, is it's full. There's full right, food right here. Instead of a stomach, they have a crop. Mm-hmm. That's 
That's crazy. All right, sweetie. So what do you think is wrong with them? <sighs> we'll get it back and check it out, see if we find any broken bones or electrocutions or oh, like any. A, yeah. You know, it could be a mild electrocution, but just, just got zapped a tiny bit. Stunned. Well, what happens is, if you can imagine, if you touch a wire with this finger, and you touch a wire with this, this finger, what the electricity does is it goes all the way through you. Yeah. And so what oftentimes happens is you get a little tiny burn right there, a little tiny burn right here, but there's a hole from the electricity all the way through your body. Oh. And so th what happens with that hole is uh, gets infected. Okay. And you get gangrene with the rotted flesh on the inside. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. And then they start doing bad. And so I've had several eagles come in that looked just fine. And you dig and dig and dig and you find one little teeny tip. Tiny little. And, and then within two or three weeks, um, it all starts to rot away and the feathers fall out and it dies. Oh, so it's good. This is early then. So this if is, that's what it is. Hopefully it is. it's not an electrocution. So, so yeah. <laughs> Get the Hi, baby. <laughs> Are you guys married? Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is my wife Susan. Okay. Yeah, we've been together almost 43 years. Yeah, 43 years next month. What Thank was your you. name? Nelson. Nelson. Yeah, I'm Brent, Brent Hunter's grandson. Oh, grandson. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll take care of you. That's what we do. So, yeah, he was probably eating on the sheep over there. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure he was. He's... Hopefully it's not an electri electrocution. Well, we'll get him back in and get him checked out real close. Will you put him to sleep to do that? No. Oh, you just... He'll lay him on a table, yeah, kind of cover the face, and yeah, he'll I, extend the wing and look. Yeah, that's crazy. Look around. How old you is could, this bird? Uh, this this one is. You can uh, do a little bit of it on the hood of the car. I see a mark on the wing. Yeah. The, the, this this one was this spring's baby. Le from oh. last year, so this yeah. it'll be going on a year old. Oh. So it, how long did, until they mature and become bald eagles? It takes five years to get the white head and white Really? Tail. Yep. Five years? Five years. Oh, well, sweetie. So. <laughs> I'll get okay. taken care of. I know. You need me to open up that back? Uh, no, it's just, uh, okay. It's electric. Okay. Yep, it's new and fancy. Uh, Way newer and fancier than we're used to. Yeah. <laughs> just got the Subaru last year. And it appears to be a male. Curious. Yeah. We'll hop back in and we'll get you back out to your okay. dump Sweet. truck. Okay, one of the things uh, that I'm concerned about this about this eagle that we just picked up is this set of power poles that's just right here. Um, you know, these are not eagle safe. And, and so that uh, could could be an electrocution issue uh, all the way all the way out here because of the way these these poles are set up. But what we'll have to do is wait and see and see how it, see how it goes. Uh, right now it's uh, it's got a big crop full of food, so it's doesn't need to be fed. We'll just put it in a chamber and and uh, keep our eye on it. For a, a you know a few weeks, and, and and if it seems to be okay, we'll we'll get him turned loose. That's that's the goal. I didn't see anything that stuck out at me. Um, it wasn't dragging a wing. Didn't didn't see anything that just you know you looked and say oh that's something broken. It's and obviously it's this particular area right here. It's a long long way from from the roads right and so the eagles feeding on roadkill and getting hit by cars is really not not an issue you know out here in this uh, big agricultural farm area these large power towers that we have uh, running through the valley here generally is uh, raptor safe 
the wires are spread far enough apart, we actually have uh, a lot more problems with the single pole three wire um, power lines than we have with these big power towers. And, and so that's the thing that we have to kind of look at and, and assess is, you know, are these, are the, the, the single power poles, are they raptor safe? <laughs> A lot more dirt on the car. That's par for the course. <laughs> okay. Here comes Melissa and Amarina. Yeah. Here comes Melissa and Amarina. Yeah. Let's see what I can do with this guy. Hi, oh, babe. dangerous part. Okay. Come on out, babe. There's my boy. There's my boy. Okay, sweetheart, let's go. Let's see, let's get you checked out, shall we? See what we're dealing with here. You're all right. Okay, little friend. What do we got here? Here we go. Here we go. Let's start. Got a bunch of tail feathers that are kind of busted up. I mean, it's not critical, but it's certainly not good. That's it's been hard on his feathers. Huh? Been hard on his feathers. And again, this is a male. This one was uh, uh, last spring, so it's not quite a year old yet. Hey, babe, how you doing? You're, it's okay, you look fine. Come on, let me see. Okay, eyes are good. Eyes are good, let me look inside. Oh, yeah, that's my boy. Let me see. Oh, okay. What I'm looking for here is and see if there's any respiratory infections, if there's anything like frowns or anything along those lines. And he looks he looks fine, that's nice and clean. Hi baby. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's start from the inside, shall we? Here right here. Okay. Now that's good and that's solid. That's solid. This feels good. Okay. Okay. Hi guys. Got a new eagle in. What? Yeah, we just barely picked him up. I'm I'm giving him a physical right now. You can come close. Uh, just. Okay, this is a bald eagle. This is a juvenile bald. Catch. Okay, baby. Okay. So so far we're not finding injury, which is good. Nothing's broken so far. Everything's solid, right where it's supposed to be. Not finding anything that looks like gunshot. Everything's solid. This is okay. Here's our issue, guys. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but here's the issue. Zoom it in and not get so close. Okay. That doesn't look like much, but what that is is that is an electrocution. So this eagle was sitting on a power pole, and this wing touched right there and that sent an electric current through the wing 
through the body and I haven't found an exit mark but quite often you don't but that's that's an electrocution right there and this I mean this the skin here is still warm the feathers are still in place so he's got circulation still that's he still good. seems to have a little circulation in there and so as you see it's not open there's it's it's just this the burn right there from the electric electricity and that's what we're looking at that's why this eagle um, couldn't fly and we were able to catch him and so this is you know really there's nothing we can do with this other than wait and see if this heals um, the 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 thing that that always concerns me and I've had a few survive this but the the worry is that it's it burns in here it burned and then it just the electricity goes down the wing across the body and then out wherever it touched another wire does that make sense guys yeah. and so it goes all the way through and what you end up with is literally dead tissue internally in the body and because it's dead tissue you end up with gangrene and so that's the problem when we have an electrocution issue is is this you know is this the end of it and if this is the end of it uh, the eagle will be fine, but if it burned all, if it burned through, um, and we end up with a gangrene issue, then we have a a, a problem with it, with that internal death death on the inside. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so that's that's what we're working with right now. Now I didn't see. Oftentimes, uh, you look. You got to watch these feet because these are really dangerous. And what we look for is we look for a burn spot. On the foot because sometimes they touch the wire with the feet i didn't see any burning up in this wing at all so this this is looks clean and it's just fine could it be a tail in a wing it could be it could his tail feathers are, his tail feathers are damaged right there the tail could have touched a power line so the tail's in pretty rough shape but i'm not seeing any burn marks on the feet oh here we are i found it that's a burn mark? That's a burn mark right there. Oh my gosh. So he could have touched it with the pad of his foot. With the, yeah, this landed on a, and touched a wire right there and right there. And like I said, you know, when you look at this, it looks, doesn't look bad at all. Like it's, like it's perfectly fine, it'll just heal right up. But the electricity went all the way through and then out the wing. And so that's, that's the issue, but that's, there's the burn mark. That we're looking at. So if there's an entry and an exit, is it almost guaranteed that? It depends on how much. How much? Since it didn't go from one wing to the other, it didn't go across the chest. Hopefully, from yeah. the leg to the. If if um, okay. Possibly. If if you uh, if you're standing on the floor and you put uh, a knife in a light socket, um, the amount of electricity that you get um, will determine how much how much damage this done. And so if you just get a shock and you know but if you but if you actually push in and you get enough electricity your muscles seize and you hold on to it and there's more power going through you then then the damage is worse does that make sense mm -hmm. and you can't tell from the outside well like again th this looks terribly minor just a little tiny bit right there and this the wing looks minor too it looks very minor and, and so but there's you know physically um there isn't much that we can do other than just give him time. The good thing was that it was a, a rancher, ranch hand out by alfalfa and sheep farm called us, mm -hmm. and there was a dead sheep in the field, so the eagles had been out there eating, so he'd been feeding himself. Yeah, he's got a big, cr this is the crop, it's just full of food. And he just, so he could have taken off and fly, so mm -hmm. he kind of hopped and skipped and jumped, you know, until he hit a fence, and then he couldn't, couldn't go any further. So. Why is he so calm? Because I'm holding you. I know it's hard for people to understand. <laughs> that's a terrible. That's a terrible answer. No, I, I I know how to handle them, and and wild animals do have a tendency, uh, when they're with me, of being a little a little calm. It has it has to do with my temperament and that kind of stuff. Should we go put him in a chamber? Yeah, let's go get him in his chamber. Come on, Joe. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, that's what we do. I saw you walking past, figured you'd like to. Now you can tell Patrick and he'll be bummed out that he wasn't here. He will be. <laughs> Get better, little guy.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Across this ice without falling down. Such a pretty little boy. Okay. Come on, sweetie. Here you go. There you are. You got a big crop full of food, and it's now it's a waiting game. But we'll see what we can do. Good day. Uh, my name is Mark Tyner with the Southwest Wildlife Foundation, and uh, really kind of a fun, exciting day for us. We have a, a bald eagle that had a, an electrocution issue. It was minor. Fortunately, electrocutions are usually fatal, but this one we have been able to save, and it's the eagle's time to get back to the wild. Now, it's very important to get them back as quickly as possible this time of the year because they, they migrate out. They start migrating about the end of February, 1st of March, and by the end of March, all the bald eagles have headed north. And so we want to get him out of here before the migration is over. So come on, let's go grab that eagle. There we go. Okay, here's our friend that's up on the uh, perch. And and uh, so we're gonna come in here and see if we can grab him up real quick. As you can see, he's flying quite well. There we go. We got you, sweetie. You are ready to go. Yes, you are. Now, of course, the big thing is watch out for those feet. That's what they kill with. So that's the first thing we want to get a hold of is these feet right here. And here we are. There's my boy. That's my pretty baby. Look at you. Aren't you beautiful? Okay. Okay, this is a juvenile bald eagle. You still rolling? This is a juvenile bald eagle. Go ahead and open the gate, please. And uh, this was uh, last year's baby. Yes, you are your last year's baby. We're down here on its migration, its first migration. But he is beautiful and doing very, very well. And we're very excited that we are able to get him fixed up. Now the bald eagle, as you see, looks an awful lot like a golden eagle as a juvenile. Uh, they don't get this white head and white tail till they're five years old, so this is quite often confused as a golden. But this is certainly a bald eagle. And the bald eagles have a heavier beak than the golden eagles do, and so this big beak right there, all the sea eagles have the big heavy beak. And so this is beautiful, beautiful juvenile bald, and uh, let's go get him put it up and put in a box. That's a good boy. And the size of, of the eagles, the bald eagles are a little bit larger than the goldens, and so, and the males are smaller than females. And so, he's very, very much the size of a female golden eagle, uh, but not as big as a female bald eagle. So he's definitely a male. And uh, such a pretty boy. Okay. The pur purpose for the hood, of course, is to help keep him calm and quiet while we're transporting him. And so can we get... Oh, I know. You don't like that. 
I know. It's okay, baby. There we go. So we get that on his head. Get it open. There we go. So now he's hooded where he doesn't see very well. That'll help keep him calm while we transport him. Oh, you got food in your crop. You had some breakfast. Good boy. So let's get him loaded up. Of course, we've got transport boxes. There we go. Okay, well, it's definitely time to rock and roll and get this big guy back in the wild where he belongs. Well, here we are. This is uh, one of our favorite release sites. It's called Browse. And uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. Still has his hood on. Good deal. Okay. Here's our bald eagle ready to release. He molted a feather. It's right there. But uh, now comes the dangerous part. I got to get a hold of him and get him out of the box without him getting a hold of me. So let's see if I can do that real quick here. There we go. There we go, big guy. There's my big boy. Come on out. We got gotcha. you. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Come on, kiddo. And I apologize, everyone. You know, we like to make these, uh, you know, public events, especially releasing a bald eagle. But with the, the pandemic that we've been all been dealing with and all the so social distancing and stuff, we just haven't been able to do that. Uh, so we just have to uh, do it by by video and hi baby there's my boy how you doing huh that's my pretty boy but come and join us as we release this beautiful beautiful animal he's been flying around the chamber wonderfully and uh, he's ready ready to get out of here I'm gonna kind of throw him that direction Sue Are you ready to go home? Go back up north where you belong? Okay. You know, that's such a great feeling. This this eagle, like I said, came in. It was a minor electrocution issue. Uh, we got him healed up. Um, so many of the electrocutions we can't save because they, it actually burns through the body. But this one we, we could. Um, this was in a, in a farm area where there's not normally eagles, but an eagle was, there was a dead sheep in the field and the eagles were feeding on the dead sheep and sat on a power pole that wasn't eagle safe. And um, in that particular location, that's not real common. And, and uh, I do appreciate our, our power company here. They've been working with me quite a bit, making uh, the power lines here in Southern Utah Eagle safe. And so I, I don't get mad at them when, when this happens. Um, and, it, and it happens so rarely now that it's, it's not, not nearly as big an issue. But to have that beautiful male bald eagle off and, and he's, He's heading, he'll be heading for, oh, I don't know, Idaho, Canada, who knows. But he'll be heading north, uh, and uh, hopefully, hopefully he'll come back next year and, and visit us again, and we'll, we'll see how things go. But this is really quite spectacular right here. 
Um, we're just off of I-15. Uh, the the ridge to off to the south is called the Black Ridge uh, for good reason. And the Red Mountains off to a little more to the east. Uh, that's part of uh, Kola, which is part of Zion's National Park. And so it's a, absolutely a, just a beautiful location and a great place to to release the animals back to the wild. Well, guys, we'll talk to you soon. I, I hope you guys all have a good day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Please visit our site and sign up for our mailing lists. We have one list for monthly review and a second as-it-happens list of all our latest news, videos, and announcements.